So boys and girls, yesterday we started talking about the use of commas. Well, we're going to continue today. And today's discussion about them is very similar to yesterday's discussion, right Libby? So a comma tells a reader where to pause. A comma also helps to make the meaning of a sentence clear. So it helps us understand the real meaning of a sentence. Now, when you list three or more words together in a sentence, the list is called a series. Use commas to separate verbs in a series just as you do with nouns, like we did yesterday. We did that yesterday, boys and girls. Sometimes we have a series of verbs. Let's look at our example. I'll wait for everybody to settle down. Thank you. Okay, Nora ran, comma, jump, comma, and skipped at dance class. Nora did three things. Ran, jump, skipped. We have to separate them just like we did yesterday. We have ran, comma, jump, comma, and skipped. Okay? So we are going to separate them. Rowena dove, comma, swam, comma, and flipped in the water at the swimming pool. You notice how we have a comma after dove and swam. Those two have a comma after them. We're separating them. And then we pause after we say the, com the word that has the comma after it. Rowena dove, swam, and flipped in the water at the swimming pool. So if I was going to write a sentence, I would say, Susan, where's my pen? Oh, there's my pen. Susan shopped cooked. Notice I have a comma here. Okay, here's my first verb, shop. And then I have a comma here, my second verb, and my comma there. Does this look familiar? Like what we did yesterday, boys and girls? Yes. Yes, it's the exact same thing, but this time we have some verbs instead of nouns. That's the only difference, boys and girls. The only difference. Okay? The only difference. So it's easy to use lemon squeeze. So determine where commas are needed in each sentence below. So let's do that quickly. Let me get some here. Let me do that color. Okay. We packed the car, drove for an hour, and arrived at the lake. Where do my commas go? Yanni. What did we do? This one's kind of tricky. Well, we're not going to go colon after hour. 
one. The first one's like super tricky. Because those are the things we did. You packed the car, drove for an hour, and then arrived at the lake. Okay? Okay? So we got to be careful because that can be tricky. Next one. Number two. Allie jumped and swam to the middle of the... Rand jumped and swam to the middle of the lake. Ethan. Oh, is it time to go? Well, yeah, a few minutes. We will be going outside. Today. Okay, excellent. Allie ran, jumped, and swam to the middle of the lake. Even. Flipped. We're on number two. Oh, jumped. Okay, after jumped, anywhere else? Swam. No, not after swam. That's the third one. Allie ran, jumped, and swam to the middle of the lake. Ran. Ran. There we go. Victor flipped, paddled, and floated back to the shore. Libby. After flipped and after paddled. After flipped and after paddled. Okay. Lee swam, jumped, and walked up to the towel. Clark. Lee swam, jumped, and walked up to the towel. After, after swam and after jumped. After swam and after jumped. Luis wrapped himself in a towel, settled on the sand, and watched everyone swim. Oh, this is another one of those tricky ones. Elisa? Yeah. Not, not after wrapped. It's kind of like that one. We packed the car, drove for an hour, and arrived at the lake. He wraps what? Himself. In a? Towel. Towel. Then what? So settled. Settled on the sand. Sand. And watched everyone. Yes. Okay, and okay, we're gonna stop there because it is time for recess.